All right, Shalom. Call all your Howard by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom. Salute to the hopefully let. This is a continuation on uh, the video um, I made on Kanye, Kanye West. Um, so I was at. Let me go. Uh, I want to start at. Let me go to the scriptures. All right, so I left off at Matthew chapter 7 and verse 14. So it says, Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. So it's going to be, the elect is a, a small number compared to everybody in the world. You know, all the Israelites, because the Israelites are the, are the chosen. You know, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, you got these people talking about, oh, the Abrahamic faith. No. It's Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And who comes out of the seed of Jacob? The 12 tribes. That's you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So it says, and it's the elect within, it's the elect in that. So it's 144,000. Then you got the uh, the one-third, you know. So that's, you know, the um, that's still a small number, you know. So you got a elect with any elect. You got 144,000, then you got the uh the one third. And then you got the two thirds is gonna be destroyed. Now that's a lot of people right there. But um it says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly they are raven wolves. So it's a lot of uh false prophets out here, you know. If you ain't pushing this this truth. Sincerely, then you're a false prophet. I don't care how how you you know because you're doing it, you're not pushing it sincerely. You're pushing it, you know, for to benefit something that the heavenly Father ain't with. You know, you might got some a person might got some other um, um, issues. You know, some other issues that they they. I'm looking for the word, but I can't find it right now. But um, I want to go to another script. All my uh, uh, scriptures that I'm for this lesson is in Matthew. This is Matthew chapter six and verse twenty-four. And listen to this. It says, "No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other." You cannot serve God and mammon. And so that's the point right there. You know, you can't serve. You know, you got these celebrities. They trying to hold on to this world and their possessions. That's why it's hard for a rich man to enter into the kingdom. You know, pretty much if you're going to be in this, if you're going to be a prophet of the heavenly father, pretty much you're going to be poor. I'm going to just be flat. You know, we got some rich uh some brothers would with a couple of dollars, some money or whatever. But Satan control this world, you know, Joel 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So Satan control his money. You know? Satan control his money. There's certain things you gotta do to get this money that's gonna go against the morals of the Heavenly Father and His Son. So point blank, you know? Now, that's all we pray. That we want to be somewhere in the middle, you know, because if you're too poor, you know, that that pushes you to do it's a scripture on that. That pushes you to do wickedly. You know, you ain't got nothing. So you're trying to, you know, survive and you might do something that that's, you know, something evil to maintain. And then if you got too much money, then you might do something evil to keep that money or, you know, and you enjoy yourself, you know. You want to be somewhere in the middle, and that's what we pray to be. You know, you don't necessarily have to be, dirt, you know, like um, homeless or anything. But some of us may be. Hey, we, all of us really homeless. We don't own nothing in this world, you know. And I can go, but we ain't going to go into that on this lesson. But we're owned by the international banking family, you know, the international bankers. You got social security number and a birth certificate. You don't own nothing. We 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 on we were born here on bondage, but uh, Yahweh Shah gonna get us off a of bond through His heavenly Father.
his father. But um, yeah, you can't serve two masters. And this, and a lot of these athletes and entertainers, they sold out to Satan. So they already made made their bid, you know. Some of them trying to come back, like, no, I don't want to. But it's too late. Blood in, blood out. You know, a lot. That's why a lot of the, and Kanye saying that's why a lot of them end up dead. You know, you had a rapper that just uh, got uh, killed. You know, on Halloween. You know, and uh. I ain't going to go too much into that on this lesson, but that's, they very demonic. That Prince family and all that, they're, they're, demo they're demons, you know, all them demonic symbol symbolism they be doing that J Prince dude. That's he's a damn, de the Lord going to destroy him. He's a damn demon. And you pretty much got to be a demon. If you're in that, that record, comp record uh, company living that lifestyle, you know, And so that guy that just uh, got past, he's all right. He's in the spirit world, you know. You know, you go up to the throne. The Lord tells you to go, you know, go rest until you come back in the kingdom. But I hope, I hope that I see my enemies fall. I hope the Lord keep me alive to see my enemies fall. Until Yahweh Shai come back. I hope to be delivered. That's one of the reasons. Hence the one of the reasons why. We're doing this work. You know. Because we want to be delivered. Okay. We're still in Matthews. Chapter 19. I got two more scriptures. That I want to bring out. You know. I'm just going through the spirit. If I get, get another one. Hey. But uh. This is Matthew chapter 19 and verse 24. It says, and again, I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of the needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. See, so the eye of a needle is not talking about a physical eye of a needle because what that the scenario, oh, it couldn't even go go down. But the eye of a needle was an actual place that was in the Middle East and uh, camels. It was like a Lord something like a little a hole a little cavity that you had to pass through in camels it was hard for camels to go through there and they ra they rarely went through there if in any time so that's what that's saying so that's using that scenario it's harder for these for because the, they don't want to give up their um they don't want to give that up their riches in this world because they don't have no faith you know it's a couple examples on when the Lord told certain people to come follow me, you just got to get rid of all your possessions because the Lord knew and, and they couldn't, they couldn't do it. And the dude, they just couldn't do it. And those same people are back now. So they're going to be doing the same thing. You know, he said, give up all your possessions and follow me. You know what that dude did? He cried, you know, cause he knew he couldn't do it. He knew he couldn't give up, you know, his possessions. He probably had to give up land. You know, back then, even in them, them times back then, you probably had land that was passed down to you all the way back to the time of Moses or to the time when we first came into the land. Remember, those lands, that was like by the time Moses got in that land, well, Moses never made it, but he saw it. But then he passed him and um, Aaron had passed but uh i believe uh joshua and caleb caleb they made it that generation right there that all of them was given lots of land in israel that land was passed down through generations trust me um and i went out, i was talking to the brother in the spirit we might get our same land we had back from then from back then you know because because we getting our land back so we going to get our land back, you see, because the, the heavenly father, he divided the land, you know, certain lots to the tribes, you know, through their family lineage. And some of that land was was passed down through generations, about, about probably a thousand years, all the way up until the time of uh, um, when Yahweh Shai came on the scene. You know, that was two thousand years. 
That was around 2,000 years. So some of that land went, yeah. So that's that's deep. All right. Um. So yeah, it's, let's go to the last scripture and I'm going to shut it down. And all of them was in Matthew. This is Matthew chapter 8 and verse 20. It says, And Yahweh Shah said unto him, The foxes have holes and birds have birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man have nowhere to lay his head. So so what's that saying? Let's read it again. It says, And Yahweh Shah said unto him, The foxes have holes. So what when a, a fox usually dig a hole for to have shelter. Right? And birds of the air have nests. What's that? Their 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 shelter. Their home. Birds have homes homes too. They call it nest. It says, but the son of man have not where no the son of man, talking about Yahweh Shah, have not where to lay his head. He was homeless. When you say you ain't, I ain't got nowhere. You when you see a, a a Jake out in the world, I'm boy. I don't got nowhere to lay my head. What's that saying? He's homeless. You know, and some of us might end up being that way in these last days because you know Esau is trying to push people to go to push people to take that that karagma. And another thing too. Those same people that had had faith and didn't take the the uh, the stinger or the the snake bite, the Satan bite. Now, New York, the state of New York. I don't know how uh, is they doing it yet, but I heard that they they were giving them back pay and they getting their jobs back. So see what a uh, little faith holding off, holding off and believing and trusting in the Lord and seeing what faith can do to you. It can save your life. Now, a lot of them people didn't drop dead that took the snake bite, the Satan bite. A lot of them people didn't drop, drop dead from that. See, so that same thing going to come upon us again. You know, Esau do trial runs on people. He do, he tests people out before he do things, you know. So, um, yeah, so Yahweh Shah was basically homeless, you know. So they they probably would, you know, in these modern days. They would they would look at the Lord, said he was dark skinned too. They would, you know, you know the damn black woman. She they would look at him, call him all types of names. Oh, you bum or you like how like how they do us. Just like how they do um Great Millstone. They call they call us, you know, the bums, the worst camps. They was doing Yahweh Shah just like that. Call them homeless. You know, with the they now they call him Dusty. They use the word Dusty. They would have called Yahweh Shah that the Son of Man. See, and these these a lot of these people don't even realize Esau just giving you goodies for for a little while, but he's gonna take them right away from you. He 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 got a veil over your your, your eyes. You know, so y'all you you people can't see, but that's a blessing that we can see because the Lord let us see it. You know, so I hope this was edifying to the body. Till again, Shalom.